Hi everyone and welcome to Fireworks. Go and grab your Bibles because this week we're jumping back into the book of Romans, looking at chapter 8 verses 5 to 17. Let's first read verses 5 to 11. Those who live following their sinful selves think only about the things that their sinful selves want. But those who live following the Spirit are thinking about the things that the Spirit wants them to do. If a person's thinking is controlled by a sinful self, then there is death. But if his thinking is controlled by the Spirit, then there is life and peace. This is true because if a person's thinking is controlled by a sinful self, then he is against God. He refuses to obey God's law, and really he is not able to obey God's law. Those people who are ruled by their sinful selves cannot please God. But you are not ruled by your sinful selves. You are ruled by the Spirit, if that Spirit of God really lives in you. But if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, then he does not belong to Christ. Your body will always be dead because of sin. But if Christ is in you, then the Spirit gives you life. Because Christ made you right with God, God raised Jesus from death. And if God's Spirit is living in you, then he will also give life to your bodies that die. God is the one who raised Christ from death, and he will give life through his Spirit that lives in you. So, what is Paul trying to say here? Well, it's a bit like this. Imagine there are two teams trying to make their way through a maze, Team Jimmy and Team Richard. Only the team leaders decide which way to go, and they both choose different paths. So then, the members of Team Richard can only listen to and follow Richard, while the other team only follows Jimmy. This is what Paul means. Your team leader is either your sinful self or God's spirit. You can only listen to and follow one or the other. But if you follow your sinful self, the path leads to eternal death and punishment. But if you follow the spirit, the path leads to eternal life and peace. But if you believe in Jesus and that he died for our sins and came back to life to fix our relationship with God, God's spirit lives inside you and helps you follow it. His spirit is our team leader. If God brought Jesus back to life, then he will also give us life. What else does Paul say? Let's continue reading chapter 5, verses 12 to 16. So, my brothers, we must not be ruled by our sinful selves. We must not live the way our sinful selves want. If you use your lives to do the wrong things your sinful selves want, then you will die spiritually. But if you use the Spirit's help to stop doing the wrong things you do with your body, then you will have true life. The true children of God are those who let God's Spirit lead them. The Spirit that we received is not a Spirit that makes us slaves again to fear. The Spirit that we have makes us children of God. And with that Spirit we say, Father, dear Father. And the Spirit himself joins with our spirits to say that we are God's children. If we are God's children, then we will receive the blessings God has for us. We will receive these things from God together with Christ. But we must suffer as Christ suffered, and then we will have glory as Christ has glory. Paul tells us that we shouldn't listen to our sinful selves, and instead rely on the Spirit to help us do the right thing. Not only that, having the Spirit means that we are God's children. We don't have to be afraid. That's why we can call God our Father. It's not always easy living as God's children, but because we are his children, we will one day receive God's blessings and share in Jesus' glory. That's amazing news. Let's pray about what we learnt today. Dear Heavenly Father, we're sorry that we didn't always follow you and instead listen to our sinful selves. Thank you for the gift of your spirit who makes us your children and helps us to follow you. Thank you for your promises to bless us and help us to love and trust you in everything that we do. Amen.